Cassino from Coxcomb in Boca Lone and San Francisco, and I am psyched to be back in Hong Kong. This is my second time here, and I'm really looking forward to showing you all my favorite spots that I like to eat while I'm here. Some of them will be big and fancy, some will be down and dirty, but that's what makes coming to Hong Kong great. Never had a bad meal here, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. I'm really excited to be back in Hong Kong. I was here about three years ago um, and had an amazing time. I'm at Yan Tohin in the Intercontinental Hotel, looking over the bay, and I'm about ready to have Chef Lao's signature dishes. That's beautiful. This is a hairy crab shell, or hairy crab, and hairy crab's in season right now. And he's taken this whole head of crab, the whole top shell, and he's stuffed it. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. That looks incredible. Look at that. Look at all that crab. That is incredible. This looks like it would be you see it, it's like super creamy looking, but it's so delicate. Now I see why he wants you to use the, the Liam Perry's Worcestershire with this dish. It gives it a nice acidic balance. So by adding the Worcestershire, it just gave it a really bright, made the crab become even brighter. A nice big pop, it's not as sweet anymore. And it just balanced the whole dish. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Steam lobster with egg white. Bird's nest. And a dumpling. Look at the presentation. I mean, this is just magnificent. Raw and everything's in first. So that's the bird nest. Texturally, it's so amazing. And then there's the egg white below. Oh, wow. What I'm learning since I've been here is that this is a really unique culture of texture here in Hong Kong. The bird's nest is such a unique texture comparative to all of them. I, I don't know how to, I'm not quite sure how to place it. And I really like it. Okay, there's hop. There's. Whoa! That's amazing. This is our pancake dinner. No, it's my Peking duck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> the aroma coming off this is unbelievable. It's lacquered. It's like perfect. That is unreal. It smells so good right now. This is unreal. Look at the knife skills. This is incredible. That lacquered skin is so beautiful. Incredible. The smell coming from that duck is over the top. Wow. This is good. This is, you know, one of Chef Lau's great dishes. I mean, this is what he's known for. And one of the many things he's known for here. This is impressive. So we're in central Hong Kong right now at Michelin star Yat Lok. Yat Lok is a hole in the wall that's known for roast goose. So what I've ordered is their traditional rice noodle in broth, but I'm gonna get the roast goose leg on the side. That looks great. What's really great right now about this is that the golden skin is absolutely beautiful, but I can smell the aroma of the goose. Look at that. There's no fat left on there. The skin is perfect, but it's just the right amount of fat. So balanced. It almost, the noodles themselves are almost like spaghetti. This is definitely a must-eat spot. I do understand now why they've got their mission star. What I definitely want to do next time is just come and get a whole roasted goose. Only the best. 
Sunday Grocer. And as you can see, they have spirits galore. It's to go. You can get a bunch of sandwiches, quick snacks, killer whiskeys, all your beverage needs for making cocktails at home. Look at this, they've got Binchoton grills, Binchoton. This is cool. I'll take three. There you go. <laughs> for a good time, make it a Suntory time. So, I've got some fried chicken, I have a banh mi, and a katsu. So, I think I'm gonna do the katsu first. This looks messy, good, holy, sexy time. Katsu sandwich. Oh yeah, baby. This, I'll try and find you. absolutely incredible. Uh, I could die sorry. right now, it's so good. Yeah. If you think you're gonna share this with somebody, you are sorely mistaken. And if you do share it with somebody, you're a sucker. A little fried chicken. Mm. A little sweet heat. I also got a banh mi. Yes, I'm a pig. Perfect. Let's take a look here. That looks great. Mmm. Mmm. The bread's perfect. That's the most difficult part about a banh mi. If you can't get the bread right, it's not worth making. Thank you. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. I'm here in what's known as colorful chopstick town. Look at this. It's like Halloween with a little ray of sunshine and a little blue sky. All right, cut, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get the name right. What's the name? Yeah. Yeah.